Zimbabwe must have proper elections and fix broken politics. Following the discredited, illegal and disputed 2023 general elections, Zimbabweans have not known normalcy or peace. As of now, 78 families and a one-year-old child are without their loved ones. This is because the 78 political prisoners hold different political views and dare to express themselves and exercise their freedom of association. On the 16th of June, 2024, these political prisoners were celebrating Africa Youth Day before being forcibly taken to prison where they remain 45 days later. In addition, the families of Namatai Kwakiza, a human rights defender, Samuel Gwenzi Civil Society, Robson Share Trade Unionist, Promise Munkilai and Vizimuzi Moyo are without their loved ones for no reason other than their association with wanting a better Zimbabwe. Advocating for women, young people, workers and speaking out against injustices. Robson Share's family and friends are faced with the additional burden of fearing for his health given the injuries sustained during his arrest. Robson only wants better for the workers who sustain Zimbabwe. The family of Bruce Moyle, a young counselor from Bulawayo is without him because of exercising his political freedom of association as a young citizen and council representative. Many other people young and old are spending nights in the prison cells after being taken abruptly and brazenly for no crime but being targets for simply exercising their constitutional freedom of association. In Zimbabwe, being an active conscious citizen and being young has become a crime. The citizens, especially the young people, are persecuted for their beliefs and for wanting better lives. In Zimbabwe, it has been turned criminal to be young. This assault and onslaught on the citizens is a clarion call for unity across political divide to condemn and rebuke these violations. Violence and Injustice Fellow citizens of at SADC underscore news and all African countries, this can't be civilized politics. This is bizarre, abnormal, and must be condemned by all progressives across the world. Zimbabwe must be free and democratic. We the citizens and our hashtag Goddess in it will save us.